All right, first step of this project is to uh, order, I don't know, a few hundred big waffle blocks. Yeah, the post office will send them. You, you don't even have to drive out and get them. It's totally easy. All right. Let's crack these open and uh, kind of see what they give us per box. They give you a pretty good assortment. Uh, some reds, some yellows, some blues. Oh, here we go. Got them all loaded up in my room. Ready to start building. Sweet deal. Now, I've lived in this apartment for meh, just over a year, and I'm just sick of having my pillow top mattress on the ground. So let's uh, try to develop something a little better. We got a base, we got some middle blocks, and we got a top. I found this to be the strongest, the strongest way you can put these blocks together. So I guess we'll just work with this. Now some of this I made up as I went along, but it's all based on that blueprint I just showed you. If you've noticed, I've put a couple smooth blocks down at the right edge of the mattress, and that's going to be storage later. We're going to put a couple crates underneath the edge of the mattress so we don't lose out on the storage space. Another 240 pound test, success. So I tied the bed frame into the rest of the room with the remaining waffle blocks, and that's just to keep it from sliding around, and I might go further with this later. Um, but there was a, an inherent issue with covering the entire floor with waffle blocks, and I'll show you later in the video. Throwing those storage crates in that we set up a little bit of room for earlier. Here we go, here's that super classy reason I can't cover the floor with waffle blocks. I mean, I guess it's better than creaky floorboards.